Hello there and welcome to another photo adventure. Today I've just come out um, literally to give Betsy a little walk. For those who've missed Betsy, she's just legged it straight up the uh, one of the tractor lines, straight up the field. So I'm going to get her back in a minute. But I've come out, it's gone calm, so I've come out to get the wheat with a beautiful tree in the distance. Join me in a minute and I'll show you how to use a super wide angle lens just for something like this. Have a little scout around for compositions, and what I've found is there's two or three shots. I'll just talk you through them quickly. There's this little triangle just here, aim in opens out towards the tree. I'm probably going to set a shot up there if I just walk a little bit farther. There is a perfect little triangle just there. If I come up higher and look down. You can see it's a nice little bit of shade, then go into dark, and again straight up towards the tree. Instead of having a leading line from you to the tree, it's going to work out literally coming from the tree back to you into a point. Um, there are also little tractor mile, little tractors where well, tractors have been in here, leaving two lines, namely like this here. Betsy's going absolutely bonkers. Betsy, come here. Hey. No chance. But again, there are a couple of lines heading off up to the tree. So I think two or three nice compositions and yeah, beautiful moody sky. I love these dark atmospheric skies as well. So just give me a minute and I'll talk you through my first composition. So my first shot is going to be this little triangle here um, and I'm going to show you how to use a super wide angle to your advantage. Um, when you start talking 16mm or less you do get a lot of lens distortion and it can make the horizon look bowed but what you can do with vertical shots is make literally the tree, I'll just show you the back of the camera, the tree looks tiny. Um, I'm going to do a focus stack with this um, but what you can do with your lens distortion I will just show you. So what you can do with this looking at the tree there as you angle your camera down farther the distortion makes the tree suddenly look bigger. Angle it down smaller and then larger and the same works with the foreground down here you can again make it look smaller or make it look even bigger by angling and by doing this you can get an absolutely amazing composition and if you've got a tree in the distance like we have up here there um, or whether it's mountains or anything like that you can make them look just that little bit bigger by using the distortion with a super wide angle lens. They are fantastic things. Um, I'm going to set this one up now. Because we're videoing now this at 16 by 9 you can't quite see the two little lines coming up either side there. Um, but on the, six, the 3 by 2 image you will see it. And I'll put this image on right now. Okay. So 
So I'll just move around now and I'm going to use these two tractor lines as a leading line coming up. I know they go off past the tree but they will work as a line heading towards the tree which is going to draw your eye up through the field to the tree. Uh, the settings for this, I'll just get the camera up and show you. The settings for this are, I'm shooting at f11, ISO 100 and that is giving me a thirtieth of a second. Um, but again, the nice thing with a super wide angle, you can use that lens distortion to your advantage. If you shoot with a crop sensor, get something like a 10 to 20 mil. Uh, most brands do them, Sigma do them, Tamron, um, which will give you equivalent, something like 16 to 32, is it, on full frame. Um, so either something like that or get 14 or 16 mil on full frame and you can use this distortion to your advantage and get some really nice shots most people tend to shoot round about 24 to 70 mil which is pretty much what the eyes see um, and the images do look what everybody else is seeing you know it's what you see and people see this all the time by using super wide angle you can magnify the foreground as well as the background and you get a completely different perspective on the scene that you're shooting it just helps you get that a little bit more creative and the images can look absolutely stunning i'm going to get this shot and i'm going to just just work this little scene here a little bit these these little tram lines um, and just see if i can find something just a little bit noisier than what i've got set up on the camera now i'll just show you in a moment so again i've just moved around a little bit and now I'm going to use these two little lines, the tractor lines, as a leading line coming in. It comes in from the side. I would have liked it down at the bottom. I may recompose in a minute. But it's a leading line up towards the tree. And again, just by coming down a little bit to the tree, just getting bigger. And then getting smaller. So what I might do is just literally try and frame something about there. So it is all about the wheat. The camera level and the tree looks like just a little bit bigger in the frame this is where a wide angle super wide angle does come in because you can use that distortion to your advantage um, and just makes the tree look a bit bigger same if you've got a mountain or a waterfall you can just elongate it and they look fantastic just move around just a little tiny bit and I've just found what I think is just a nice a little composition I'll just show you right now so the composition now um, instead of using the two lines there's a second one going off over there I'm now going to use this one this nice little triangle shape pointing up towards the tree and again I'm just, just going to move the camera just a fraction forward I am underexposing the shot because the sky is looking fantastic. Let me just point you up at the sky. Very dark, very moody, um, and it should look great with the tree in front. I am hoping just to get a little bit of light come out. I'm going to wait here. When I pulled up, there was um, a little bit of sun in the tree, and it looked fantastic, especially against the dark background with the tree lit up. So I am going to hang on here probably half an hour if I have to and just wait and I think this is going to be my final composition 
again I'll talk you through the settings quickly I'm um, shooting ISO 100 f11 and that is giving me a 13th of a second um, it has gone dark now with this big bank of dark cloud coming over but I'm going to hang out and just hope that that tree will light up so I think I might be getting my wish if you look this way now you can just see sun coming onto the bank to my right it's lighting up this field so I'm now going to get off the GoPro and I'm going to get this shot quickly while the tree is lighting up I am now getting chewed by midges because the breeze has completely dropped right off um, the midges are coming out I think they're coming up out of the wheat so I've got the shots that I wanted and this one in particular the bracketed shot does look beautiful um, try to invest in a super wide angle lens um, you can get them second hand if you haven't got a big budget for new lenses um, you can buy something like the 16 to 35 whether it be Nikon or Canon even Sony um, second hand they tend to go for about what four five hundred quid if you're on a crop sensor you can get 10 to 20 mil which will give you an equivalent of 16 mil if you're on from full frame um, but try this lens distortion and you will get beautiful shots and it's, it's a different shot to what the eye normally sees because you can get really good focus on the big foreground and beautiful backgrounds and you can make the background stretch it just a little bit so it looks a little bit nicer there is now a little bit of rain it's in me so I didn't think we got rain forecast but uh, I haven't got far to get to the car I'll just turn around and show you the car <laughs> this is one of those spots where you shoot literally out the car door um, yep yeah, so I'm gonna end the video now um, I'll put the photographs on at the end of this there are links below in the description to all the gear that I use um, if you have a favourite image if you if you like these images if you fancy getting a 16 to 35 or something like that super wide angle send me a comment below tell me what your thoughts are and yeah you will really love it it's that takes a little bit of getting used to but when you do get the hang of it and you, you get the hang of using that distortion to your advantage your photographs will just go to another level and they are fantastic things to have so anyway here's the uh, photographs I've got to find Betsy she's Betsy ran up this track here and I can just see in the distance the wheat is moving about so I'm presuming that's where she is um, she loves stuff like this so and I get the whistle out and I call Betsy back and until next time take it easy <laughs>